Okay, shalom, shalom. Kwa mia sa ala. Ko holoim la. Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Zai, Bahashim, Raka Hakodash. Double honors to our apostles and elders, a great millstone who rule well that by the Spirit taught us his beautiful truth. Just want to say the water to all the Akim and Akwa that's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Zai, to the best of their ability. This is Yahanan Nawaf, just coming at you with another quick lesson, praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. You know, I had a few articles, uh, I'm just pretty much going to, you know, read the headings on them, get a little bit into them, and, you know, just pretty much go into the scriptures a real quick um, lesson before camp. But I've been seeing, I've seen, this is like the fourth article that I've seen um, as of today, you know, just talking about the wars and rumors of wars and things that, you know, they're not even talking about wars, rumors of wars anymore. It's now it's like wars and rumors of nuclear war, <laughs> you know, so... We have to be on top of these things and let our people know how close we are. You got um, a lot of things going on, man, that's, that's pushing us just that much closer to the coming of our Lord, Yahweh Shai, which the world ignorantly calls Jesus. Okay, so this is the Daily Mail. First article, Pentagon officials warn Russia's space nuke could be devastating as China beats NASA in launching first mission to, to the dark side of the moon. So we know that those Russians, those are Edomites. You know, and the Lord blessed them with that weapon. The so-called white man was blessed with the weapon of war. He was blessed with the sword. So that goes for your ones over in Israel. That goes for your ones here in the Americas. That goes for your ones in Russia. All those NATO nations, all those EU nations, Ukraine, all those nations, they are expert with the weapon. It just so happened that, you know, America kind of has, you know, a little bit of an um, edge on some of the other ones. You know, by their nuclear power. And of course, you know, Russia is, you know, banging with them. That's the reason why America hasn't just full fledged gone off into Russia. Then you also have China, too. China got some weapons, too. So you you see America is not just full fledged running into certain countries because they know that, you know, that would be a, that would be, an, um, you know, an, a fight for real. They can go into other countries that don't have anything like that. So, you know, places like Afghanistan, you know, certain places they'll run off into and make it seem like they're the best military in the world. But they're not going to go off into a, a country as powerful as Russia and step foot on the ground and get to taking over shit like they do all these other countries. It's just real because those Edomites over there got just as much <laughs> fight, you know. As a matter of fact, they got more fight than these Americans because them Russian guys over there, them Edomites, them so-called white men over there, that's a different breed. Of this Edomite that's here in America. These Edomites here in America, they just used to popping some damn hot pockets into the microwave, you know, and fucking sitting on the couch drinking Mountain Dew and playing video games. That's not those Russians, man. Those Russians are hardcore. Um, they're they're used to the elements of the coal, you know, they're used to the elements of the terrain. These Americans, man, they're not they're not cut like that. Okay, but but let's prove that Esau is that, you know, that he's gifted with that sword though. Genesis 12, um, twenty-seven. And this is the blessing that our forefather Isaac blessed him with. Now, if you're familiar with the story, you have to go off into it and read it. If you're familiar with the story of Isaac and Rebekah, they had twins. One was named Esau. One was named Jacob. Esau came out red. He is the progenitor of the so-called white race today. Jacob came out like everybody else because everyone else had melanin, brown skin. Jacob is the progenitor of the so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans, which are Israelites today. So this whole thing that you're seeing playing out on the, on the earth right now is between two main characters in a movie, Esau and Jacob. All the other nations, they're just like, you know, um, extras, right? But the birthright, he sold his birthright to Jacob, if you're familiar with that part of the story. Jacob, you know, kind of slipped him for the blessing, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, through, you know, what his mom told him, Rebecca told him to do. You know, and he had to run off, you know, and that's where he met his wives, you know, and that's where the 12 tribes of Israel come from, the four women, you know, after he ran, ran off. If that's a whole nother lesson in story. You got to go off into all that on your own there. Just read up on it. It's a real interesting story. But um, this is where the blessing comes in at, and Jacob actually gets the blessing. But Esau, he gets the fatness of the earth. And he gets the, the the blessing of the sword. That's how he, he got everything. That's how he's all over the earth. He He's all over the earth right now, ruling and regulating everything because of his weapon power, his weaponry. 
And that's going off into that sword, right? So this is Genesis 27. Let me start at 39. And Isaac his father answered and said unto him, Behold, thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth and of the dew of heaven. That's why he has everything. He's, he's, he's scouring over everything. He has the oil. He's in control of the diamonds. He's in control of the ruby, rubies, the sapphires, all the minerals, all the, the precious metals, the elements that, you know, he's in control of everything, the fruit trees, the, the, the vegetables, the, you name it, man. He, he, he controls the air. He controls the water. He can say who can fly somewhere or who can, who, who can um, have a boat somewhere. You know, he's he's running the earth. He's all over the earth. And and when you look at, at the way some of these Edomites live, they're living lavish, man, on this planet. They're living lavish while people are really struggling to um, pay rent. Now, your average Edomite, the so-called white man, they're starting to struggle now. You go back, you know, maybe 40 years or so. Esau was, you know, 30 years ago. Esau was doing real good. Now you got the, the common so-called white man. He's no better off than the so-called Negro. Why? Because their people are, you know, the, the top elite ones of them. They're very greedy, man, and they don't want to. You think that they will want to share with their 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 nation of people, but they don't. They you just got a couple of families that's just greedy as hell, and they just like, no, we we want it all, right? Verse forty is the point. And by thy sword shalt thy live, and shalt serve thy brother, and it shall come to pass when thou shalt have the dominion that thou shalt break his yoke from off thy neck. So there was a point where they were under us. We had them. And then once that yoke was broken off, that's that's just scriptural. That was prophetic. They broke the yoke off. They ended up coming back into power. And they've been running with that sword ever since. And that sword, see, when, when they dropped the bombs on Japan back in the days, that let the world know. The world seen that like, uh-uh, we want no parts of that shit. Supposedly one bomb killed like 80,000, 90,000, 100,000 people at one time instantly. People seen that shit, man, on the news and was like, it was that was the talk of the town. That was on every newspaper in the world at the time that America had bombed, hit them with two bombs. And so those other nations, they just bowed out and was like, "Up, oh, y'all got it, man. <laughs> but now it's at a point where these nations, um, you know, because Russia uh, plays a, a huge part in the in the destruction of America. You know, um, the scriptures talks about how the Lord will put, you know, the hooks back in his jaws and pulling back. See, when the U.S. when the USSR was around. Russia was, you know, top dog. That's the reason why they put together NATO, these NATO nations, to keep Russia from coming back up. But it hasn't stopped the prophecy. They can't stop prophecy. That's one thing with Esau, man. They always constantly trying to go against. They go against the scriptures to try and stop the prophecies. They and it doesn't work. They should see it, but the Lord got them in that kind of trick bag where they he, he's basically giving them the spirit of trying all in vain for nothing, right? So let me see. These were the ones the the watching the elder, uh, the brother um, in um, Shopper 12 in North Carolina. He's live right now. Um, that brother was going in. He, he, brother be going in, man. Uh, you got to love the brothers going out on the highways and byways. This truth can't be stopped, man. And he had another lesson, uh, another class going the day before yesterday, um, a live, where, um, you know, just going off into how this this. Hebrew Israelite thing of ours, it is so powerful because all the angles and directions that it's coming from and, and growing is got to be of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. This this is not a movement that are, that is of man. If it, if it was, man, we'd just be out here enjoying the summer. <laughs> no, the way that the Lord has put this together and the way that um, the, um, the children of Israel, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans have been waking up within these past two to three years, strong. You can't stop that, man. You can't say that that's not um, of the Lord, man. But anyway, I wanted to go off into these other articles here. I put them in my um, community. I just posted these because it was kind of early. Now, this is one of the um, the headlines. World on brink of hybrid World War Three, which could lead to radioactive Europe. See that? Then it was this one. Hathis attacked two U.S. Navy destroyers. And Israel linked commercial ships in the Indian Ocean. So you know what that's that's just gonna lead up to more stuff. Russia, Russian, this one is Russian nuclear bombers spotted near Alaska as fighter jets scramble to intercept warplanes. <laughs> so hey man, let's go back into the scripts, man. What is this going into? 
It's, it's really very simple. Matthew 24 and 3. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of thy coming and the end of the world? So this is a question that's being asked of the disciples to the Lord. And Yahweh, which that's the true name of the, of the son, is not no Jesus. The letter J was invented in 1524, so we know that the Lord's name can't be Jesus. He was a Hebrew Israelite from the tribe of, of Judah or Yahweh. And his name is Yahweh, which means that he's the savior or deliverer in the Paleo Hebrew. That's another lesson as well, but you know, you will have to, uh, you know, it's apps. I mean, it's, it's, if you can, you can find this information out. There's nothing to it, you know, and, and we believe by faith that these are the true names. The true name of the father is Yahweh and the true name of his son is Yahweh Shai in the Paleo Hebrew. Because you have to realize that there's no letter J, E, O, U, or V in the Hebrew alphabet. Now, who gave you those vowel sounds, those vowel points? The same people that's running around out here screaming anti this, anti that, Semitic this, Semitic that. Those those vowel points wasn't needed. The Hebrew is perfect without um, vowel points. There's no no, um, no no E sound or no J sound or no O sound or no U sound or no V sound in the Hebrew alphabet. So why did they do that? See, that, another lesson. Anyway, and Yahweh shall answer and said unto them, take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Yahweh Shai Mashiach and shall deceive many. That's happening right now, too. It's a lot of people. You got a lot of mockers, a lot of scoffers. You got a lot of false prophets, a lot of false teachers. So you have to be aware of, you know, who you're listening to when you first come into this truth. Because, you know, a lot of brothers be window shopping. We all did it. You know, I remember when I first came into this truth, it was just you thought everybody was everybody. You just thought that every every Israelite was the same. And they're not because you got Israelites that's going off in the doctrine. Even though they may have on fringes, they may call on the name Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, but they'll be going off on, in another part of the scriptures. So, you know, we follow the elders, the apostles of GMS, Great Millstone, who definitely has the 100% um, the truth as far as this salvation. You know, so, you know, if I was you, I would just go ahead and run with the big dogs to begin with and leave all these other camps alone and stop window shopping. It's not about uh, 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 who looked the coolest. It's not about who's... um uniform or whatever you want to call it, you know, a garment that looks the best, you know, it's not all about that, man. You know, it's about a humble and contrite spirit and the Lord really dealing with those men and you learning from those men because we all need teachers, right? But anyway, it goes on to say, and ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet for a nation shall rise against nation. And kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. It was just an earthquake um, right here on the border of Florida. I mean, Salakia, not Florida, um, Ohio and Michigan right here. I just done a lesson the other day where it was an earthquake, stopped the damn baseball game, um, uh, the professional baseball game. I forgot where that was at, though. You just had an um, earthquake um, in New York about two or three weeks back, maybe a month or so ago now. So earthquakes are happening. Um, you got um, the wars, rumors of wars, of course, are happening. You got um, uproars of the people, sedition among men. It's just all the, all the prophecies are playing together where we, we know that we have but a short time. And Esau knows that he had but a short time. That's why um, Revelation 12 and 12 says that he's going to come down with great wrath because he knows that his time is short. See, he's running out of options. That's why when you look at this anti-Semitic bill that they're coming out with, that's Esau, you know, you know scrounging for more time <laughs> basically that's all that that is because when you think about it why would america need a bill to protect them when they have their own land that they can go to anyway but just let's just say they have the right to move about the earth they can go where they want to go you know don't america have laws already in place to help any citizen that's give, being, being being given a problem don't they have 911 don't 911 um 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 isn't 911 for everyone all nations no matter what gender, what creed, what ideology, or what religion they're into. Isn't that, you know, if somebody is messing with you, can't you call 911? Well, why can't they call 911? Why do they need a total different bill to protect them? This shit just don't make no sense, and they're starting to look real bad, bro. But that's sloppy work right there. That's when you, when you rush something, it gets sloppy. See, they used to be able to take their time somewhat, but you know, but the Lord is speeding things up. So I just wanted to touch on this for a hot sec, man. I've seen these couple of articles, 
And hey, it's, that's, this is all that you're hearing about. But let me read a little bit of this. It says a Pentagon official warned lawmakers that Russia's development of a nuclear space satellite could knock out all global satellites for up to a year. Satellites aren't built to withstand the radiation from a nuclear explosion and some could be destroyed by the blast and have de devastating consequences for the U.S. and other countries' capabilities in space. And you know these niggas lose their internet. They're going to lose it anyway. These citizens really going to go crazy. This marks the first time the Biden administration has openly discussed an indiscriminate weapon at an open con congressional hearing after a bombshell revelation by lawmakers in February. Meanwhile, China has lost the first. See, China, they still trying all that moon shit. We ain't even concerned with that, you know. But we, we're, we're just concerned with these prophecies that are coming to pass, man, right before our very eyes, man. You know? Let's see the um, Detroit camp. GMS Detroit about to get going. But, yeah, I'm going to end out. I'm not going to keep it long. Um, but, hey, hey, man, it's some serious stuff right here. And also, uh, I seen the, um, let me see. Lock you. Joe Biden, um, I think he, what did he do? He ordered, um, ordering a, 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 a plane to a stand. Bomb to um, a plane to withstand a nuclear blast. I think it was. Um, the brothers posted it. I seen it. Yeah, yeah, thirteen billion dollars right here. So, and, and, and you got to realize too that the, the their um, you know, um, a lot of these 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 tech billionaires, all these people, man, are building bunkers. You got um, certain little millionaires supposedly building bunkers. You know what I'm saying? You know the smaller ones, but you know you you got these elite. They have extravagant bunkers, man. The size of cities, man. Underground. With all the tech in it. They can live, you know, 25, 30, 40, 50 years. You know what I'm saying? They got, uh, it's like a damn city in there. So it says U.S. Air Force awards 13 billion doomsday plan contract to Sierra Nevada. So this motherfucker, he gonna be able to fly away while you motherfuckers is getting blown up. And Israel is the the least of the flock. They're the ones that's gonna draw them into blowing y'all ass up, man. So all that support that that see all you Americans should be um 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 protesting, not just these college students. You all of y'all should be protesting against these people because they're the ones gonna draw everybody into. I mean, you can't stop it. It's prophecy. But I'm just saying, if you know, here you go. Your own lawmakers have have turned their back on you and have signed into a bill into law that basically. Says that if you teach the Bible overall, that's pretty much about what it's leading to, or you know, a portion of it anyway. You reading the Bible now? Nah, you uh, -uh now nah, you we gonna stop that shit. You gonna go, you going to jail? See? It says the U.S. Air Force said on Friday that it has awarded a 13 billion dollar contract to Sierra Nevada Corps to develop a successor to the E-4B, known as the Doomsday Plane, due to its ability to survive a nuclear war. Now, I don't know how they do these tests to know that it will survive one. But it, it's not going to make any difference. See, all this shit is in vain, man. The Lord is going to um, get down on Esau, man. Esau, now, you see, that's what, that's how we know that this is Esau, Edom, man. The, the so-called white race because they're proud as hell. The scripture says that the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covers the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? This man is, is, is weirdo type proud. Yeah, I mean, it's really weird the kind of pride that he has, <laughs> but I mean, he got it, man, to, 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 to the extent of he really don't believe that he can be stopped, especially these Americans, man. You, you, as bad as things are here in America, you'll still have these, these people running around, even Negroes. Uh, we, we America, I'm probably, nobody messing with us. We the best in the world. We got the best military. This man, look, you can barely pay rent. But you still got that type of attitude. You still got that kind of pride. You can barely put gas in your car, man. You know? Everything is expensive as hell. You can barely afford to feed your damn children. But you proud as hell. 
I mean, it's amazing, man. Anyway, you know, this is what's going on, though. Why are they upgrading? Why, you know, I don't even think, I don't even know how long it takes to build no shit like this. But I don't think we're going to be around here long enough for him to actually get on it. And, and Joe Biden, you know, he, I don't, I, I'm assuming that he's thinking that he's going to be the president for the next four years and that, you know, that the plane will be done by the time, you know, he's, uh, you know, he, you know, that'll be his new get up. <laughs> But man, look, we we're, we're hastening the day. We're praying that the Lord come on through, man, and and none of this even gets to get done, man. Like for real, for real, man. You you should be most definitely tired of this place, man, and chanting this place down, man. Continue on prophesying, continue on praying, fasting, and praying to the Lord that He destroy this place as soon as possible and get us out of here, out of the hands of our enemies. In the meanwhile, you got Jake just relaxed in this bullshit. Relax. I'm talking about. They'll tell you they're doing great in this place. They relax. They wouldn't have it no other way. I'm tired of this motherfucker, man. It's time to go. Anyway, with that, man, I pray that the lesson was edifying. Just a little pre-camp hookup. Gonna be going there soon. So, hey, man. Wake up, man, Jacob. Wake up, Jacob. You know, it's high time to awake out of sleep. For our salvation is nearer than what we believe, man. Come out of those works of darkness with that. Shalom.